San Francisco! Yeah. I know, an old bald guy with a big nose. Welcome to the Antique Road Show. No, I don't even care if you laugh at any of this stuff. That's one of the great things about doing comedy when you're 80. I've already failed at so many things in life, this is nothing. I'm not even comfortable up here. I told my daughter, Rebecca, I need a couple of gin and tonics. She said, Dad, you want to mix alcohol and crappy material. You know the only difference between me and the young comics? I already know I'm going nowhere. A few years, I won't even be able to hear if you're laughing. A few years after that, uh, actually, what are you all doing out there right now? Because the bottom line here is nobody needs to be a hot behind a microphone at 80. Have you seen Mick Jagger lately? I can't get no full erection and I try and I try I'm jumping jack flash and I've got gas 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 I mean that guy is just up there waving that stinky old buddy his around no wonder the media is always going up to him afterward well Mick you wearing uh, boxer shorts or jockey shorts and Jagger just goes, um, depends. <laughs> so it's tough when you're old trying to do comedy, especially if you have to drive somewhere. Like, uh, I had a gig in Napa, and of course I got lost, so then I was running behind. And so I uh, got pulled over for going 85 and a 65. And I just told the officer the truth. I'm a comedian, I'm late for my gig, and I did, you know, several of them. I thought my best routines, and he stops me in the middle, and he cites me for impersonating a comedian. <laughs> so as long as I've been doing comedy, I've wanted to have my daughter, Rebecca, come up with me on the stage. And she's always said, Dad, no, we're not going to do it. But Rebecca, you're smart, you're funny, you're poised. Dad, what possible routines could we do? Dad, nothing. Rebecca, we can get you on the stage and all you have to do is start telling everybody why you don't want to be up here. Everybody will laugh at that. Dad, no. Okay, Rebecca, I'll pay you. Dad, you're a comedian. You don't have any money. <laughs> so uh, I told my, uh, my wife, Sandra, you know, that uh, Rebecca's just not going to do it. And uh, my wife says, okay, I'll come up on stage with you. I go, what? <laughs> okay, uh, tell me uh, what routines you're going to do. Uh, well, I'm just going to say I'm not very comfortable up here on stage, and so I told my husband I needed a couple of gin and tonics. And he said to me, honey, you don't want to mix alcohol and crappy material. Uh, okay, how about one more? Well, you know the only difference between me and the young comics? I already know I'm going nowhere. <laughs> Let me tell you something, folks. You know that you've hit an all-time low 
when your wife starts stealing all your comic material. Thank you very much. Woo!